Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I have many packing related videos here on my channel, but I don't have a video dedicated to the toiletries that I bring with me on my trips until today. Today I'm talking all about travel toiletries. These are the travel makeup and travel toiletry essentials that I bring with me on all of my trips. Before we get into it, if you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Catherine and I like filming packing related videos like this one, as well as other wardrobe and style videos. So if you're interested in those types of videos, please consider subscribing to my channel for more. I have three toiletry and cosmetic bags that I typically take with me when I travel. The first is my clear travel bag that will include Include all of my liquids that need to go through the TSA security line. Next is a floral toiletry bag that I use to pack my makeup and other non-fluid toiletry items. And finally, I have a smaller floral cosmetics case that I will carry with me in my purse when I'm at my destination. I want to mention that it's a really good idea to take inventory of the toiletry and makeup items that you typically bring on your travels and have them listed out in a packing list so when you go to pack your toiletries, you know exactly what you want. To bring. I know that lots of different YouTubers and bloggers and whatnot will offer different PDF packing lists, but for me, I find it easiest to just use note cards. So I have a note card for hair, toiletry items, face items, body items, teeth items, and miscellaneous items. When I go to pack my three toiletry bags, I'll literally just flip through these note cards and reference all of the items on there, and it makes it super quick and easy to pack. So something to consider doing for yourself, or of course, consult a fancy PDF list online if you want to do that as well. Now I'll show you guys everything that I include in these three bags. So first up is my clear toiletry bag that I will put liquids in. I got this bag at Walgreens many, many years ago. It's pretty beat up at this point, but I've had zero issues with it. It contains all of my items really well, and I like that it's this more elongated style of bag so I can easily stand up all of my toiletries inside. I guess you would call the shape of this toiletry bag hot dog style as opposed to hamburger style. First up, in the side pocket of this bag, I include some Clorox disinfecting wipes. You can pick up a smaller package of these wipes at the dollar store or at Target in the travel section, and I find that Clorox wipes can come in handy if you are on an airplane and you feel like the tray is a little gross, or if you get to your destination and you're just feeling weirded out by potential germs. <laughs> I'm not a total germaphobe, but I do find it useful to have some Clorox disinfecting wipes with me when I travel. Next up, I have denture cleaner. I do not wear denture but I do use these little capsules to clean my retainers when I am done wearing them at night. And finally, in the side pocket of this toiletry bag, I have some Q-tips. Inside the zippered portion of my toiletry bag, I keep a variety of hair, face, and body toiletry items, and first up is face wash. Typically, I will put my face wash in one of these little tubs. This is by the brand Human Gear, and you can get these off of Amazon. They're really easy to use. You just pinch the top off like so, but I recently got a sample of the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser in a gift set for Christmas, so that's the face wash that I've been using on my recent travels. For moisturizer, I have the Cerave PM Moisturizing Lotion, and I use this stuff both in the morning and at night when I'm traveling. I like that it's lightweight enough to wear underneath makeup in the morning, but at night it's moisturizing enough to leave my skin feeling really hydrated. I keep eye cream in one of the Human Gear tubs, and this is the 100% pure coffee bean caffeinated eye cream. I use this eye cream every single morning and I find that it does a really great job of de-puffing the bags underneath my eyes. I have a travel size bottle of my trusty Mario Badescu Rose Water Facial Spray. I love this stuff as a little hydrating pick-me-up throughout the day, especially right after I get off the plane. It feels really nice and refreshing to spray some of this mist on my face. It's also really easy for me to just keep refilling this little spray bottle with the full-size Mario Badescu spray that I keep at home. I keep my Glossier Super Pure Serum in this amber container. I unfortunately dropped the original bottle I had of the Super Pure Serum and it shattered all over the floor, but for some reason, thankfully, the product inside survived, so I just put it inside this amber bottle instead. I tend to break out when I am traveling, either from my skin getting decongested on the plane or eating lots of junk food or maybe drinking too much booze. Mm -hmm. 
Either way, I am prone to getting breakouts when traveling, and I find that this serum does a really great job of calming down my irritated, acne-prone skin. I also like to bring one face mask with me when I'm traveling as well. I think this is a really great way to unwind at your Airbnb or hotel at the end of the night. For this particular trip, I had a little bit of the Sephora Rose Hydrating Face Mask. I believe that's what it's called. Yeah, it's the Sephora Collection Rose Moisturizing Face Mask. I just put this stuff in, again, another one of those little human gear tubs, and it served as a really great hydrating mask to put on at the end of the night. Next up, I have a couple of face and makeup items. First is my IT Cosmetics CC Cream in the color Light Medium. It has a pump with a cap, so it's easy to just put the cap on when I'm not using it and it's not at risk of spilling anywhere in my toiletry bag. To get that foundation off at the end of the night when I'm traveling, I bring my Neutrogena facial wipes with me. This is just a travel size that again, you can pick up at Target in the travel section. I know using a bunch of makeup wipes can be pretty wasteful though, so I think I'm interested in trying the Clinique Take the Day Off Balm. Leave me a comment below if you've tried that product before and let me know what you think because I'm interested in checking it out and bringing it with me on my travels. I have two hair products I bring with me when I travel. First is the Beauty Protector Protect and Detangle Spray. I like this product because it's multi-purpose. Of course, it protects my hair from heat if I'm blow drying or straightening it, but it also does a great job at detangling my hair and leaving it feeling nice and soft and silky. And my second hair product is a dry shampoo. This one is by Chlorine and I got it at Sephora while waiting to check out in the little impulse buy section. When it comes to shampoo, conditioner, and body wash, I will typically opt to use the items that are provided at my destination. So whether I'm staying at a hotel or with a friend or at an Airbnb, usually they have shampoo, conditioner, and body wash I can use. So I typically skip these items in my toiletry bag to save room. Another hair item that I of course bring with me when I travel is a hairbrush, but this doesn't fit in any of my toiletry bags obviously, so it just stays in my suitcase separately. I have a small tube of toothpaste, pretty self-explanatory. In this obnoxious orange case, I have my retainers that I wear at night. My last few items in this toiletry bag are body items, and first up is a lotion. This is a mini size of the Soap & Glory Righteous Butter Lotion. I like to switch up the lotions that I bring on my travels every so often because I think it's fun to assign a scent to that particular trip. So for example, we most recently went to Austin, Texas, and I used this Soap & Glory Lotion, and now whenever I smell it, I just have good memories of that trip. Speaking of scents, I also like to bring a body spray or mini perfume of some sort on my travels, and the one I've been using most recently is by Bath & Body Works. It's the Aquamarine scent. Finally, in this toiletry bag, I have an essential oil roller ball. This is in a nice lavender scent, and I love bringing this with me when I travel because if I'm feeling a little stressed, either amidst all the traveling or it feels a little funky being away from home and not in your own bed, I find that if I just roll this product on my wrists and on my temples, the nice lavender scent really helps to calm me and make me feel a lot more comfortable. So that's everything that I include in my clear toiletry bag, and next up is my floral toiletry tree bag. This is by the brand Tartan and & Twine and I picked this bag up at Ulta. I like this bag in particular because it has two zippers. You can see one here and one here. So it makes it really easy for me to separate the items inside. On one side of this toiletry bag, I include all the remaining toiletry items that either don't fit in my clear bag or just aren't liquids and don't need to be included in there. So I have a toothbrush, I have deodorant, I have floss, I have a razor, I have an assortment of hair ties and hair clips, and finally I have some medicine. I think it's really helpful to bring just some basic medicine items on your travels so you don't need to buy that stuff at your destination because it can get pretty pricey. So here I have some powdered vitamin C packets as well as some Zycam, which is good to take if you feel like you're getting a cold. And on the other side of this toiletry bag, I include my makeup. I try to pack as light as possible when it comes to makeup, especially on my travels, because I find that these products are the ones that are most prone to breaking while traveling. I have had one too many powders, blushes, and things like that just shatter while traveling, so I try to pack as minimal as possible when it comes to makeup. First up, I have a beauty sponge that is contained in a beauty blender container, but the sponge inside is just a cheap one that I got off of Amazon. As far as other beauty tools go, I have my eyelash curler, I have a pair of tweezers, and then I also have all of my makeup brushes in a zippered compartment on the side of this toiletry bag. When I'm packing my makeup items, I find that it's easiest to just think through literally the order in which you apply makeup to your face and then you won't forget anything. So that being said, I have my base primer. This is the L'Oreal.
L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Primer. I have my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. For my eyes, I like to use the Laura Mercier Caviar Eyeshadow Stick in the color O Natural. My lashes cooperate best when I use two different mascaras, so that's where I go a little bit excessive on my makeup items. So first I have the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara, which I recently tried in the waterproof version, and I find that it works a lot better than the regular version, for me at least. And then I also have the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara that I like to layer on top of the Lash Paradise. Next I have my NYX Translucent Powder. I have my Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. And then I have my NYX Micro Eyebrow Pencil with a convenient spoolie on one end and then the product on the other end. For blush, I like to travel with my Glossier Cloud Paint in the color Beam. I love traveling with this product because I don't need to pack a blush brush for it. I can just apply the product directly to my cheeks with my fingers. I'm also bringing my mini Becca Highlight in the color Moonstone, I believe. And I really like this product when traveling because obviously you can use it as a highlight as it's intended to be. But if I do feel like I want to give my eyes a little bit more of a pop to them, I will put this product directly in the tear ducts of my eyes to help widen and brighten them up a little bit. And the final makeup item I'm packing is a lipstick. This is the Burt's Bees lipstick in Blush Basin. I like bringing a neutral colored lipstick or lip color with me when I'm traveling, something that I know is going to match with all of the outfits that I'm bringing. Last but not least for my travel toiletries, I have my mini floral cosmetics bag. I think that this bag is so adorable. I picked it up at Target. Basically, it just includes all of the on-the-go toiletry and makeup type items that I like to have on me at all times when I am traveling and carrying around a purse. So first up, I have a small thing of Kleenex. I also have my oil blotting sheets that I like to use in case my face gets a little shiny throughout the day. I have some gum. I have a little compact mirror, hand sanitizer, which is incredibly useful when traveling and touching a bunch of things, mini container of Tums in case I get an upset stomach when traveling, and I also keep some ibuprofen in this little Altoids container. I've got a hair tie, and then I do keep a couple of nail items with me. A small nail file, a cuticle clipper. The last two products I include in this cosmetics bag are two lip products. First is the Glossier Balm.com in the shade Rose. The color of this Glossier Balm is a little bit more on the sheer side, but if I want to add a little more color to my lips, I like the Burt's Bees Tinted Lip Balm, which is also in the shade Rose, actually. I feel like I have just the right amount of things to make me feel like I have all that I need at my end destination, but if you guys disagree and feel like I'm missing anything, leave me a comment down below. I hope this video gave you guys some tips and inspiration for the sorts of items that you can pack for your own travel toiletries and makeup essentials. If it did, please remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos. I will link some of my recent pack with me videos in the description box of this video in case you're interested in watching those next. I hope you guys have a great day and I will catch you later. Bye!